You might be surprised to learn that PBS can actually be a great site to find interactive learning materials. They've created some very, very educational, high-quality resources. One way to begin to understand what kind of interactives, that's what PBS calls it, they have created is to just browse topics. So at the main website, browse bar, click on topics. I'm going to go ahead and select science and nature. And in any of the categories, there are going to be subcategories that you can select. The nice thing about this is that you can get much more specific. I'm going to go ahead and do biology and chemistry. Now, from PBS, PBS's main site, it's really going to just show you the videos and the programming. So it just gives you an idea. It's not very easy to actually get to the interactives from this site. There is a way you can begin to do it, and that is to go ahead and type in, in the keyword search, something you're looking for. For example, let's say a periodic table. Once you do that, click search, and you'll get information. Now you'll notice that it takes you to the actual uh, Nova episode where they have designed the interactive periodic table. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And from this site specifically, Node Nova site, you'll be able to view the interactives that they've created in this case that go along with the periodic table. To learn more about finding interactive learning materials from PBS, visit my book, Interactive Open Educational Resources.